One run game in the ninth inning. Strike one. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Strike on the swing. Next pitch. Tries for the same thing below the zone. One and one count. Then comes back away with it. That's a nice pitch for strike two. Both of the strikes swinging. Chicago gets on their feet. One more, baby. Let's do it. This guy, he's like, okay, hmm, hmm, might as well videotape it. Some cool might happen. The one-two pitch. Way away, non-competitive waste pitch. C.B. Buckner looks at his ticker, says, okay, the count is two and two. It's not what he actually said. That is a ball low, but they like the pitch. Looks at his ticker again, and he says, okay, the count's two and two. The 3-2 pitch, outside, and no one does anything. He looks at his thing, and people from the dugout are like, hey, that's ball four. The batter has no idea. The catcher has no idea. The pitcher thought he had the strikeout. He has no idea. No one has any idea. Besides everybody, besides the main participants, nobody has any idea. And probably because CB's been yelling out the wrong count. So he gets with his people. says, what do you guys got? He's like, oh, I had two and two. But they're saying up there that it was actually three and two. And that was ball four. Are you sure? What do you got? What do you got? Anyone else know? They're like, well, it's kind of your job, CB, and you you yell it out and show us, and and then we go off what you say. So, oh, you what? And they're like, all right, let's just go ask the replay people if they can piece this puzzle together. They got all the pitches. Meanwhile, here's a review, and no, 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 not a strike, not a strike, but no one moves. No one even thinks about it. The crowd kind of does. This guy wants the strike real bad. Strike, strike, what? Thought the game was over. The pitch is ball four. No kidding. Yeah. How about that? I'm going to bat flip this walk. I knew it the whole time. What an AB by me. Taking pitches, laying off. Can't hold me back. The catcher's like, well, if you thought it was 2-2 and we thought it was 2-2 and he thought it was 2-2 and we, we all act as if it's a 2-2 pitch and we got one to waste, I feel like it should be 2-2. Two, two. I, mean, I don't think that's what Jan Gomes said, but if this was like a backyard barbecue wiffle ball game, I think you would make that argument. Like, dude, we all thought it was 2-2, two, two, so doesn't that kind of make it 2-2? Two, two? You know, we were all treating it that way. Anyway, now the tying run is on first, and you got Adley up. He's pretty good. Fastball away. Next pitch, fastball right down the middle. One and one, and then a little cutter or slider outside, and CB calls it a strike. And Adley's like, come on, man, really? And he's like, oh, I do that, I do that. And I talked about this in the perfect uh, game that the umpire called in the World Series, and I specifically pointed out C.B. Buckner. See how his head is on the inside? The umpires that do this, their consistency on the outside is, for lack of a better word, dog shit. Because they don't have the proper angle. They're setting up inside on everything, so the outside edge is always a dance. So he calls that one a strike. Now he's one strike away from this game ending. And CB's like, yeah, that's what I want. I just need to get out of here. In play, gobbled up at second. Throws the first for the out. And then you go, vamos, coño! Fired up. Always is. Hat backwards. Fly the W. The Cubs win. Umpire forgot the count. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you guys as always. And thanks to all of you for tuning in and watching them. Appreciate you guys as well.